lot of money on the line. Trouble turn number two. The 88 machine goes for a spin, but keeps it down low. Caution, lap number 11. Spun it to the inside, kept it from coming up. Take a look at the replay here. You see the contact between himself and the 87 of Seth Wise. Just tight rate. Right? Uh, let's take a look here. Oh, wow. So, so Tony McRae uh, looks like just lost it by herself. Whoa. I'll see you one more time if we could. Tight little area. Oh, turn two. We got a couple cars sideways, and everyone's going to make it out of it. Wow. Kimberly came up, it looked like, on the 88 machine of East. The 12 of Keller was. And uh, East just has not been having the race he wants. Oh, trouble into turn number one. A couple cars having big problems. Go two in the 16. And it's going to be a pile up. To see how this is all going to kind of shake out. Again, the top. Oh, three. trouble turn two. That's Beeler and Gatula. They bring out the caution. Lap number 62. It's Peterson working the outside groove. Look at this pack three wide all around. Oh, trouble turn number one. It looks like it's Meyer in front of the field. Zampa involved. Beeler crashes in. And the number eight machine of Aiden Daniels somehow found a way to stop. Got that thing to stop. Oh, look at Panama Matt uh, catching this one. Okay, 36 and the seven. McCullough and Charteau making contact into turn number one. I There were a, a number of times there where I said, Oh, oh there we go. And McCray around. McCray spins it out, gets into her teammate. Sean Woodside spins it out, it looks like. The number eight machine of Aiden Daniels maybe caught the wall, and that might be the eventual cause of this caution because Daniels was not able to get off the track. Woodside spun it out. He's in the infield. McCray is back running, and Daniels' car is to the inside, so they're going to continue this race. Green flag. Require us to go into green white checker territory. If it's not that, it's going to be first right away. Turn one. The 36 machine spins in front of the field. Caution flag is out, and somehow that was just a single car incident. Cars just trying to roll to the finish, and worst off, Rife is oh, hard wreck into the turn number three. The 43 machine of Tanner Rife head on into the wall. And there you see the results, the outcome of the 43 of Rife. Went head on into the wall, folks. Driver is out of the car. Let's do it again on this side. 66 of Bischoff Burger. There and it it's a flat tire. That car went into turn number one, sparking, and it's going to come out of turn number two, sparking. Kept it off the wall. Dude, they're already on the edge. Oh, trouble into turn number one. It's John Moore sideways. Safe. Wow. I mean, when you're spinning in the middle of the track, it's guaranteed carnage. But John Moore, the wild man, hits the throttle, spins it to the infield. Mississippi. And he, he suddenly pushed his car. Oh, oh trouble into turn number one and two. This is big. This is going to be big. Oh. How is it not big? Oh, well, there you go. You had a, oh, we got one car just keeping it off of the inside wall, look like. So I was like you. You you were you were speaking. Tear in the wall. Our leader, the 48 machine, Preston Peltier. What just happened? This race just changed. You're going to look at the replay. Oh, wow. Lost the back end and into the wall in a big way. We also... Ooh, a... tied in front of your leader. Dempster around. And this race may go yellow. Dempster back. Gets it out. Forward and we are coming. Oh, Lenny White. Yeah. Gonna make it three wide into turn number one for the lead. Gets Contact. into Trevor Huddleston. Trevor's gonna go around in front of the field. And oh, oh, a huge hit for Rodney Peacher. So, and the yellow flag flies.
much better restart. Oh, maybe oh, not. Scott Young maybe getting around not. to the 45. Okay, now this is just getting comical. <laughs> and we have trouble in turn number two. That's Mikey Killen who got turned, and well, one of the cars that got turned. The three machines sitting over there. Looking left and right, puts his foot in it and saves the 19 machine. truck turn number four in a cloud of smoke he was probably inside the truck yelling i told you so there caution flag lap number <laughs> and then it became Of Ron Nava because he is slowly yeah. closing oh, in, boy. and he's not using as much energy. Oh, oh, so we got Chris. Oh, into the back, and it looks like Jacob McNeil gonna lock it down. And the caution flag. Oh my goodness! And he's not using as much energy. So we got Chris. Oh, into the back, and it looks like Jacob McNeil gonna lock it down. And and I'm gonna tell you, I want you to pause it right, wait, wait, keep going, keep going, and right, stop. And do you see Tim Huddleston on the third mile with his hands on his head going, oh no? <laughs> Three laps to get it done, and a lot of these cars are even. Watch out, front straight away, Andrew Porter gets turned, and he saved it! Wow. And now Porter, who seems to just be holding on to his number 88, is back in the midst of this. Deacon Harlan's going to get into Muniz, Muniz sideways! And, I mean, so bummer for Muniz, but how did everyone avoid? Great job. And you notice right there... Every year, unless they take each other out right now. Uh, they've raced for years together. 
and in the Trek series. Oh, Rena goes around and Youngren with a hard hit into the door. Caution flag out and this is gonna go red. Red flag. Chief, folks. She's the crew chief as we see the caution flag coming out for the first time tonight, and there's why. Joey East having some issues. Looks like he may have gotten up into the wall over there in turns three and four. That'll put us under the caution flag for the first time tonight. Joey hasn't been working those tires too hard. He's been working the top side of the racetrack, so what may have happened to put him up into the wall, but definitely some damage to the right side of that car there. You see Jake Drew eventually take it over that spot. He was trying to track down Joey East when that happened. Joey had... Despite this, it seemed to be pretty plain sailing for number 88, whereas number 54 looks to have popped a tyre or caught something underneath the flooring, because it was making a big spark trail all the way around turn 1 and 2. Perhaps they were just getting ready for the skid plate race later on. Big flag back out. Field scrambling down into turns 1 and 2. It looks like Trevor Huddleston with a good restart. Everybody kind of scrambling behind. Bring it, bring it. Souza has dropped all the way outside the top five. And that's why flat left front tire on the 13 car. Tough, tough break for Todd Souza. Driver who will be making his 100th career series start next time out at Kern County. Not how he wanted to end his chances for victory here tonight. This has been a very clean battle for position, but we'll see what happens. Ooh, as we see contact there. And Chris Loudon going to go around. That puts us under the caution flag with just a handful of laps to go. Oh, boy, folks, this changes everything. The driver's side, the left side, here he comes right at you, folks. Ooh, that's as close as it gets right there. start line. Tanner Rife, Trevor Huddleston on the front row. East angle with the green flag back in the air on the hammer down into turn one and we're going to stack them up down into turn one. Jake Drew gets into Trevor Huddleston. track and the yellow flies and this folks this is the mystery of all mysteries the yellow flag flies and the silver car comes back to life i was setting up a camera you and were? i was i was alongside you oh look at this battle for the lead door to door coming to the line oh he's gonna turn him there's a tire there look out oh no oh big hit and into the wall goes Conti, was innocent and all that.
95 and 35 scrapped away lap after lap as well, with eventually 95 sliding out over the start-finish line into Turn 1 and getting hit by another car which actually pushed it back into the race. Unfortunately, the other car didn't fare so well and pulled up by the barrier in a lot of steam and smoke. See that jumpy hit? Yeah, here comes Wolcott. Sometimes the second place car. Oh, Robert Rice gets into the lap traffic. And now. Wolcott nowhere yeah. to go. Well, I was going to say sometimes. The... Some drivers in a rush to get to the front. The 35 machine's going to get dumped. Daryl Highland said, uh-uh. Oh, no! Some drivers in a rush to get to the front. The 35 is going to get dumped. to set up a pass down the back straightaway, shuck to the inside. Oh. They're going to be too tight. Basic gets turned. that we tried combining into two back in the day. Oh, trouble turn number two. The A machine of Molina goes around. And no contact. We tried combining into two back in the day. Oh, trouble turn number two. The A Everyone else around. Oh, trouble turn number two. That's Tabic in the green truck. And we stay green for the moment. Final two vehicles passing. Oh no, we got Klein going around and he nearly hits the truck. That was oh, trouble down the front straightaway. The 43 machine locks him up and nearly wrecks into the barrier. What's going on? What's going on? Yeah. Let's see if we uh, <laughs> got a replay of this one. Look at that. The 43 of Nava hits the brakes almost as if he didn't know the caution was out. Good.
stars doing multiple jobs in this building right now. Yeah, I like the officials when they say, Yowatsuru, that 30 machine, Nevin, has been picking oh, up the Oh, trouble, pace. turn number two, hard in the wall! The 89 machine goes head on into the wall, out of turn number two, that is Chris Klein. The 56 machine of Frankie Muniz, the 77 of Nick Jonitis, and you see the damage on the 56 going by the front straight away. are so much fun it's so easy to get involved if you're not looking to do chain racing you're looking to maybe get yourself on the half mile oh massive hit in the intersection get involved if you're not looking to do chain racing you're looking to maybe get yourself on the half mile oh! And through the intersection, it gets wild and crazy again. Oh, hold on, 35. Again, folks, you we got a sparkler. Remember when we said fireworks were coming? Well, they're coming out of turn number two right now, and they spun it out. White flag is in the air. 95, and through the intersection, it gets wild and crazy again. Oh, hold on, 35. Again, folks, you, we got a sparkler. Remember when we said fireworks were coming? Well, they're coming out of turn number two right now, and they spun it out. White flag is in the air.
got it! I got it on camera! Barely! Oh no! as we have destroyed some cars, the four machine of Dennis Arena, there is nothing left of that car. Had to concede that position. And trouble in front of your leaders. One car goes around. The 51 machine keeps it off of the racing surface. But that is not what the drivers want to see with five laps to go. Take a look at a low budget TV replay. Ooh. Yeah. I thought I heard some tire squealing and now I know why. Yeah, I wanted to give that shout out to Nevin Iwatsuru moving in on this battle in the number three. Oh, Huddleston gets the nose clipped and we've got some cars getting ragged out of turn number four. All right. So, uh,. You know when we were just talking about how good of a race that was up front? This is sometimes the byproduct of a good race. <laughs> Take a look at a replay from our speed shot. Joey had uh, slipped back just a little bit and was by himself when he went for that spin. Now, Tommy, I want you to go back to that, that shot as far back as you started. The second continuing on again. And there's a big rig going in. Big hit. Massive rig into turns three and four. Any late models left? Oh, oh no, we're not. Oh boy. We definitely don't have any late models left. We showed up with a season high of late models, and now we're wrecking under yellow. Hi. Oh no. I got it too. Oh no. We are having a rough night. The Rives leading the Zampas. Wise in fifth. And look at this. Nose to tail racing into three. Stack up. Battle is for the fourth spot. 87 and the 92. Oh, brother. Shunt brother. <laughs> I asked Tanner about this. <laughs> I said, 
would you guys move each other for the win? Uh, Tyler was like, well, you don't want to. Tanner said, and we'll settle, settle it away from the track. It, it'll- Gets by Rife. To, and oh, trouble, trouble 80. This could be our first caution. And yellow. Well, that just ramped up the drama here at Irwindale. So, Jalone, he's done street stocks here, late models, super lates, modifieds, of course, Ooh. and door slamming. Oh, trouble on the back straightaway. We got two cars stuck together. That's the 10 and the 88 of Gunther and Boston. <laughs> Stand ahead of Hansen at the end of those hundred laps. If you have a late race restart, we don't often see a lot of late. Oh, contact out of turn number four. Zach Telford goes around. It was a moment. Taking a look at a replay, and there you see some contact between the 57 and. Oh, oh trouble. trouble out of turn number four. Big trouble. Dan holds up in the air. Multiple cars collected. In TV. And, uh, yeah, I mean, as we saw, the 22 just did not get going. Uh-uh. Wow, look at, did you see Dustin Ash literally slide through the gap? See if we Third spot. I'll just describe it for you guys because it's still having trouble during number two. Like I said, it's still happening. Uh, <laughs> uh, this, I think this might have been payback. Um, or, or a message. Greg's a lead. And a battle for a second spot. You see the 54 of Erickson all the oh! way by the grass in the 77. So nice sideways. He's in the wall. And collects the 38 of Peterson. <laughs> Watch out for that tractor tire on the first lap, right at the start finish line. Yeah, some bumper tag actually, deeper in the pack. Okay, so far they're all together, which. machine now we saw him smoking in the enduro yeah that's chris voigt and uh something finally let go here red, red flag. flag to collado in the 71 machine oh but a big spin out of your leader and james avoids and we go yellow 71 machine Oh, but a big spin out of your leader. And James avoids. And we go yellow. Tire Enduro class lining up for their first of two twin main events. Two laps to go. And trouble for the 64 of Noah James. And this is what he needed in this race. He needed a caution. And Noah 
brings out the caution himself. For their first of two win main events. Two laps to go. And trouble for the 64 of Noah James. And this is what he needed in this race. He needed a caution. And Noah brings it. We are looking for the green flag. And it's in the air. Trouble turn number one. It didn't take very long. No, it did not. with four laps to go. Ooh. Oh, Chuck gets turned. A lap ago, it was bumper to bumper. That lap, it was turned. Make Eleven of Riby Harriman just behind him. A little contact into Ooh. turn number three between the fall. Oh boy, we hit a tractor tire. Same story for him. If things finish the way they're running, he will be the new points leader. So we are looking to have, oh, we have a truck spinning out on the front straightaway. And and this is as the field's uh -oh. coming to take the uh -oh. checkered. Fagman says get out of the way. Vermillion sees it coming. Checkered. <laughs> Jim Vermillion wins the street stocks. Jesus Quintero wins in the pro trucks. Turn number three, it's Salcedo making the move in the 16. Now the sport cars are inherently faster, which is why we put them in the back. There goes the wall. Uh -oh. There goes the 49. Uh -oh. And there goes our dignity. Nah, Danny Azalina spinning it out in the 49. The problem is, Tommy, the track is now already destroyed. What's going to happen as they go through the kidney bean now? It's turned into a flagpole race. All right, Gio, keep an eye on this wall out of the corner. It looks like a big old C, Ooh. and someone's going to hit it. Oh, oh yeah. Got it. Told you. The five is alive. And he's going to slam into the corner there. I don't know if something broke on this car, but... Oh! Youngren! 
one in line. And either way, don't matter. You're a race car driver. And, oh, the 21 machine up in smoke. Turn number three. I'm sorry, two. As that looks to be potentially. Most likely these cars for the remainder of the night in the figure eight in the skid plate. And that'll oh, all boy. be. They're not doing oh. a good job of not tearing them up. Hold oh, on, Osmond. There's a tire there. We just knocked them off every race. My oh, man. Robert Wright's go the round. The six, and McIntyre gets into the back. And front straightaway is getting tight with contact, and the five machine just get puts in the wall. Oh, look. Here they come at you. That five has gotten hit by just about every car that's driven by, and he's going to get hit again. I think Ryder has a vendetta. See ya. to the right side of the screen, bottom side of the racetrack, gets down to the inside. He and Todd Souza come together. PJ going around, and he's gonna bang the outside wall right there. Quickly ticking away here. Ooh, Nick Janitis. Ooh, big time problems there in turns three and four. Caution flag out. What happened over here in turns three and four? Ooh. Looks like Takuma had already spun. Christian Rose, nowhere to go in the 77 car.
infrequent appearances in the West Series here in 2022. Oh, we got big time problems down in turns one and two. Whoa, 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 look out. Close call there for Chris Loudon in the 11 car. Joey East and Eric Reed getting tied up and Chris Loudon doing a nice job to miss that incident down there in turns one and two. But wow, what a tough break for Joey East. It has been a starstruck season. And Todd Souza, here comes Eric Reed. He's going to back into Joey as he was slotted against the outside wall. And here comes Chris Loudon getting that number 11 car. Look how close that is. Wow, definitely a Reese's sweet move of the race candidate right there for Chris Loudon in the number 11 car, but yeah, tough break for Joey East. Jason Wolcott and lap traffic, they're gonna split them. Oh, excuse me, coming through. The 52 just threw it into reverse. He's gonna run the race that way. That's his <laughs> strategy. Turn number two, the six machine gets spun out in front of the field. That's McIntyre, and this is going to just. spun out in front of the field. That's McIntyre, and this is gonna just stack up. <laughs> Getting into racing through these legend cars, and. You know, it's been no secret that these cars are plentiful or cross country trouble. The 47, I jinxed him. That's Mike Vanderlip going for a spin. Caution. Three wide up front, they're racing everywhere. Oh, three wide again. John Beard. Oh, one car going for a slide out of turn number two, the 42 of Chris Voigt. Nice save. Technically never spun. machine of Ron Nava collecting the inside barrier. Fire and safety is on the scene and the fire crew have just did the head pat. That is our indication. All drivers are okay. Nava climbing out of his race car does not look too happy getting out of his race car. Oh, where do you even go right now? Four wide out of turn. Oh, no, Joe Nidus gets turned into Charteau. 
Caution, flag flies. Lap. That's Rice and Salcedo in the seven. Robert's going to cut back to the inside. And yeehaw goes the number two machine. And they almost get clipped. Rodney Argo, Jason Wolcott. And we'll see. Oh, trouble. Turn to number three. Two cars around the 94, and that is the eight that also spun out. <laughs> down low. Huddleston does not have a clear track yet. Oh, 13 gets into the back of 98 of Anderson and we are stacking them up in turn number three and four. So we have a big pile up in turn number three and four literally scattered amongst the entire corner. Get as many points and spots that he can. And Porter oh, sideways. Porter in the in wall. The wall. Your leader. He's going to hold on to it on the wall. Yeah, but that truck's done. Yeah. So we're watching on, uh, ooh, boy. I'm going to have you go a little further back if you can. I can do that. Because I... Eight-car invert. That's going to make these early laps wild as drivers try and soar through it. Oh, no trouble. trouble into turn number two. Two cars, the 36 of Malone and the 48 of Kimley. Turn number four. 
Vandemore in sideways they're, through the track. They're, mm, I think McNeil's just like, we gotta go. <laughs> Tundo is just, he just wants to get that spot so badly. Oh, it's tight contact in the kidney bean. The leader in the stock class almost gets spun. Well, that's how you get rid of the situation. I don't know if it's a rev limiter or some, uh, a motor going, oh, Wolcott sideways and hits the tractor tire. I think he's just blending some drinks under the hood. What? That's not going to be the groove he's going to want to make the move, but maybe it's to set up the pass. De Gregorio nails the tractor tire in front of leaders. He's been working on doing that the entire race, and the 73 has finally moved that tractor tire. Three laps to go. Rotunda to the inside. Sticking his fender there. They touch. They're touching. They're hitting. And Argo's going for a spin. In He's going to mess the gas. Three cars racing out of the corner. The 19 takes the lead. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, and another big hit right in the intersection. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Jeff Williams, Robbie Harriman, top three. Oh, we got a cluster in turn. Oh, hang on. Oh, 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 man. We wadded up three trucks. Bummer. We will be cautioned. On him at all oh we got oh truck on the infield that was jesus quintero i believe in the 72 he's clear of the racing service we should probably stay green as vermilion's about to lose second spot oh man vermilion came right down in the front of him 
Oh, man, I hope we all pay attention. Oh, mercy, we go yellow. Four or five avoided. Let's see if it gets fired up. Should I think we could stay green. Oh! Nice day, brother. Keep going. Whoa, 17 way, way ugly. So I believe Matt Webster. with that debauchery in four. a lot of contact <laughs> oh my goodness two Wait. laps to go do you see this racing look at this is he gonna get a return of the bumper tops it back to the back end he gives a nudge to zampa out of turn number four white flag is in the air they hit zampa goes around into turn number one no caution Field. That's Turn 25. number one. Yep. All right. Oh, oh. Okay. Yeah. What's going on? And then he'll say, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I got gotcha. you. You got me. Ooh. Oh, we're doing it again. Oh, big hit for the 10 machine. The two machine spins it out and a almost collision with the seven of Ross, but a massive hit that is Kevin Vossen in the 10. Front straightaway, bumpers make contact. Oh man. Vossen slamming, grinding the wall to a stop. Oh, trouble into turn number one. We got two. 
two cars connecting, it's Dalton and Clark. That was also a few laps in the making. As we take a look at a replay into turn number one. Door to door, just like you said. Now Charles is another driver that we've seen with experience here at Irwindale Speedway. Yeah, Charles has run Super Late Models. We got a problem, front straightaway. Oh, Spangler into the... He's into the barrier on the inside of the track. It's like it's like he lost his steering completely. Something happened, yeah. He was on the brakes, but the car was only going left and directly into and underneath that tire barrier. Plenty of race lines available. They go three wide and sandwich up. Troy Anderson was the biggest loser right there as they came out of four. We are yellow. Plenty of race lines available. They go three wide and sandwich up. Troy Anderson was the biggest loser right there as they came out of four. Oh, and Barkley goes around in four. Didn't see, I think Shay was, figure out the answer, please. Send it to announcersmakingupstuffagain.com. I'll get it eventually. White flag. And now as well, the 43 of Andrew Porter gonna get up there in the mix. Porter now. Two cars between you and the guy chasing you. Oh, we got one around. And, oh. That's gonna take a little bit of cleanup there. Why is Ryan Partridge so gosh darn fast? Good luck trying to figure that out in the next five laps. We'll tell you why later. But unfortunately for him, it's like Jacob McNeil went around. Guy who likes that, Nico Monjanel. We'll see if that ends up causing any problems at any point. Oh, a little contact and Osmond up the track. Oh, Osmond's gonna go hard into the wall. And that about seals the deal on the championship for the sport. It's helping him turn. Yeah. <laughs>
tire. So after all that avoidance, Price ends up hitting the tire, but it's okay. No big deal. No big deal. Those are big tires. Oh, big bumper slam! Labrostiano into the back end of Wolcott, and Wolcott hits the tire! And that could be it for Wolcott, possibly. No. Distinctively different grooves. Herzog up top, Gomes kind of in the middle, and Kanky on the bottom. Nice move by Herzog. He oh, finished 16 contact. in the All-Star. Colts is going to go around and into the wall in turn number one. Contact with Tom in the 93, and Holtz's car, severe damage to the rear end of that. Push me wide! thing just a few years ago and i think oh, oh trouble. trouble nathan bird up against the wall turn number three and four and we go yellow oh heartbreaking that was uh he was out to a hot start Take a look, and there is right Boonfield. in front of Third Kettle. Yep, spinning out. Now, thankfully for Third Kettle, Coonfield was on the inside already. Yeah, I, th I, I think because Dylan Zampa, not Logan Zampa, as we've been calling him since that's what his car says. Holly Clark around on the front straightaway brings out a caution. And, and the person happiest to see that right now is probably Seth Wise. Yes, absolutely. Picked up a spot. The inside into turn number three. Dean now, Thompson on the rear bumper. I was going to say, that's not something Zampa's happy about. Zampa to the lead in oh! contact. Huddleston into the rear bumper, and this is going to be a big oh, one. Oh, it's bad. Somehow, that only involved... One other race car. There you see the 43 of Christian oh. Bazin, who came into this one with confidence, heavy right front damage. Shot coming across the nose and Huddleston into the rear bumper of Zampa. Zampa spinning out. Well, and I think uh, just to use the cliche, Tommy, championship implications. Absolutely. Tanner Rife and the 43 getting collected up in that one. Take another look at a different angle and look at this. Ooh, there's Rive making contact and Bazin. Just nowhere to go. And does this too good? No, I think they liked it. Uh, there's smoke coming off of the seven of Tyler Rife. Looks like Rife is blowing up. He's going to stay outside and we go yellow. It's a bit of a bunch up as Rife is blowed up. Tyler Rife in the number seven. You saw the heavy smoke, all tint of blue. Come on, buddy. Oh, whoa.
to the bottom of the racetrack. Jaden Walbridge with a white and miscolored blue nose piece. Oh, contact against the wall. The 43 of Tanner Reif up in sparks into turn number one. That's going to bring out the yellow. So the it's a terrible time to be a Reif right now. That's brother Tanner Reif in the number 43. Tyler Reif just blew up a motor. Tanner Reif into the front straightaway wall. Oh, he's going for it. Take a look at the replay. Oh, and that's contact between the 13 of Donnie St. Hours across the track and into the wall. And that's a night ender. Heavy right front damage for Tanner Reif. Sparks flying, parts dragging. Well, Tommy, you know who's not upset about <laughs> the past uh, few minutes? I know. Oh, trouble turn number two, the 92 of Zampa makes a spin. Currently green at the moment, waiting for the 92 to refire, which will not happen. We go yellow. I wonder if that's residual from the incident earlier. Zampa was not really gaining any positions. <laughs> Wise, right there, ready to pounce if the leaders. Oh, Huddleston, Huddleston off to, the pace. That's something we've seen too too many times with this car. Is that car is a rocket ship, and then it just gives. He drove back up through the field, and now the fifty down on power and headed to the pits. 